What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm uploading like crazy. So run that like button up. The Russo comeback is in full effect. And like I said, this upload frequency is not going to fucking stop until I get that 100K and get that fucking silver play button. Because I feel like my videos are more informational and useful than most of YouTube fitness. You may agree to disagree because I'm the bloat lord, but at the end of the day, you keep coming back to me for information and reports that you can find nowhere else as far as random exotic peds are concerned today i am going to be talking about fertility issue nightmare stories with trt so i'm gonna pre bleh, i'm gonna preface this with you know i am a franchise <clears throat> i'm an owner of a trt clinic which you can find in the description elevate alternative you can fill out a contact request and this is all over the phone here's the plug right all over the phone you do not pay anything unless you sign up. You get a free consultation call where you can discuss your symptoms and the different types of packages. They assist with anything as far as, you know, women going through menopause so they can assist and help women. And we've already helped multiple women, you know, guys with low testosterone or people who just want to be in generally optimized growth hormone replacement therapy, DECA for joints. The whole shebang, right? All over the phone, mail to your door, discreet. No, you know, going into appointments or anything. All you need to do is fill out intake forms, get blood work, and then have your consultation call. So that's in the description below. And they will 100% assist you with fertility, with fertility, with TRT, with fertility in general. If you're having trouble knocking up your woman, they can help you out, give you the correct HMG, HCG, clomiphene, or clomiphene protocol to increase your sperm count. So I preface that because I would like more people to switch off of underground tests onto Elevate, onto, you know, what I spent over a year putting together as far as this company is concerned, and have the peace of mind knowing that it's safe, pharma-grade testosterone, not made in a bathtub, and that you can constantly rely on it. And if you always want to add more exotic androgens on top and do your bodybuilding thing by all means, but at least you know that your testosterone base is legitimate FDA testosterone and you are one phone call away from medical professionals that actually give a fuck about you. So appreciate you guys checking out Elevate link in the description. That being said, I also wanted to go specifically into this question because I get asked this a lot, right? I get asked if going on TRT makes you infertile, makes you ha like you can't have kids. So I'm going to use the example story of Boston Lloyd. So Boston Lloyd, if you don't know who he is, I'm pretty sure everyone who's subscribed to this channel knows who he is, but super famous steroid abuser, right? He abused everything under the sun. His cycles were insane. He would do, you know, 2000 milligrams of testosterone, multiple orals on top for years, right? Known as the craziest abuser. And I'm not talking shit. I love that he was open about all the shit he was taking. I love that he was like, this is what the big guys are really messing around with. You know, the super big guys. So I was all for that transparency. Sure, it was extreme. Sure, it was like kind of painful to watch him, you know, torture his body to that degree. Because I personally don't use anywhere near his cycles. Like even all my cycles combined now aren't really shit compared to like one of his winter blasts back in the day. But, you know, props to him being honest. I'm a fan of Boston. I ain't talking shit on him. But basically, Boston is moving on in his life. He wants to have a child. He's dated that Ariella girl for a while. They wanted to have a child. And, you know, Boston was concerned he wouldn't be able to conceive a child because of his extreme steroid abuse. That was proven wrong, right? That was proven wrong because he utilized... And I'll name drop Dave Palumbo, but Dave Palumbo helped him with a fertility protocol of HMG, which is synthetic LH and FSH, HCG, aka synthetic LH, and then clomiphene. So he stacked those all together on 
testosterone replacement therapy, and he now has a healthy, I believe, boy, a healthy child, no issues. And that's after, you know, an amount of abuse that everyone watching this video will probably never do. So that's an extreme example of your fertility will not be messed up on cycle as long as you do the correct things. So let's play the opposite side of the coin. So one of my super successful business friends, he's also trying to have a child right now. And he's been having trouble knocking up his girl. He asked me, you know, what protocols to do and everything. I want to preface this by saying that he abused trend and high dosage test cycles without HCG for years before he met me. And I corrected all his cycles. I added an HCG. I lowered his dosages and, you know, mitigated all the damage he was doing and try to, you know, steer him towards a more harm reduction protocol. But basically he wants to have a child and, you know, he's added an HCG now. I don't know how many I use he's currently added, but he has added ATG into his monthly regime. I, you know, was like back and forth with him. I think it's time for you to get your sperm tested to see how many swimmers you have. So sadly, he's gotten his sperm tested and he had 0 0.1 million sperm per mil. So basically crash sperm count. 0% of his sperm were moving and 0, 0.0. Yeah, no, none of the sperm were moving. And he had a decent amount of semen. He had 4.5 mill, milliliters of semen. So all the sperm are dead. So this, this, this is um, what I want to go into first to combat and debate this issue, right? So when you sign up for Elevate, here's another plug for my TRT company. But if you sign up for any... TRT company, including Elevate, they're going to require you to buy HCG with their, you know, TRT protocol, you know, with whatever package you get, they're going to give you HCG. Now, a lot of guys message me one on one, like Russo, I filled out your contact request at Elevate, I went through the whole process, I love the process, but I don't want HCG. I don't want HCG. I think it's a waste. I don't want it. I don't want any kids, blah, 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 blah. Well, this is what happens, right? So when you take synthetic LH out of the equation, you are no longer keeping the lights on as far as your testicles are concerned. The reason why the ATG is added onto the TRT protocol is to keep the lights on when it comes to your testicles, right? To not have your testicles atrophy into complete nothingness. Now, that is what happened with my friend right here. Like I said, he abused high dosages of tests, pretty much took whatever he wanted under the sun and didn't even know what HCG was, didn't even know what clomiphene was and never maintained his testicular size. He told me that his testicles, you know, he basically couldn't even feel his testicles. They are virtually gone for a while. Now, he has recovered his testicles to like, uh, they're little, but they're obviously producing semen now. But I 100%, you know, put the problem on him not utilizing ATG, clomiphene, and clomiphene HMG during his steroid abuse the entire time. I do believe that it can be possible for him to recover his sperm count. And I don't exactly believe this test because this was a mail-in test, meaning that he could have had a couple active swimmers and you know they died on the way there to get tested the box got too hot in the mail killed them but he still has extremely low sperm count and you know i attribute that to him not utilizing hcg so this comes down to my input of if you can't afford to cycle steroids correctly and you're cutting corners you're gonna run into issues like this and then you're gonna come to someone like me for this crazy answer and I might be able to figure this out for him. I, you know, I really wanted him to go to a doctor and get his sample tested right then and there. Like his sample, the minute he shoots it out, gets thrown under a microscope so we can actually see how many active swimmers he has going on. And he might have a few. And all you need is a few. They could be surgically placed to impregnate the woman. Or maybe he needs more HCG, HMG, 
um, therapy. If you do do one of these mail-in tests, I would not trust it completely because like I said, the sperm could die overheat in the package on the way or they could just take too long so i would 100 percent if you're like really concerned we'll just get it tested in person get it tested right then and there and see the sperm for yourself right put the mic put the microscope to your eye and see what's going on yourself versus trusting one of these tests i don't think this is 100 percent accurate accurate but i do think it's indicative of him not utilizing hcg so like i said right if you don't have the money to cycle correctly or if you're like let's say you're like 25 on trt and you're like i don't want kids i don't care i don't want to spend the 40 50 bucks a month on hcg i think that's a waste of money well guess what you know then you would become possibly completely infertile you might find the girl your dreams around 28 29 and she wants a bun in the oven and then, like I said, you're fucking coming to me or you're coming to some endocrinologist asking for some crazy protocol when in reality you could have just simply done HCG the whole time, constantly kept the lights on as far as the testicles are concerned, and then just blasted a fertility protocol, knocked up your girl while on TRT the whole time and done it smoothly instead of just trying to save money penny pinch and then shrinking your balls into nothing and then trying to bring your balls back from like micronized you know pea size back in the you know semen making balls so these issues right these can be prevented by education through you guys spreading this information right there's a lot of people who don't even use hcg i know so many guys who don't use hcg and I've used HCG my entire time abusing PEDs, and I have never really had small balls. My balls have shrank, but I've always maintained my ball size the entire time because I know of the consequences. I'm educated on that. Some people, they don't understand the importance, or maybe they're ignorant, they're younger, they don't think they want kids, they think they want to just save money, and that will bite them in their ass later in life. So... If you have a friend that's abusing a lot of gear, not running HCG and is doing it for months and months and months in a row, atrophying his testicles, then you're going to run into a fertility issue like this down the line when, you know, he has a girl waiting on him to put a bun in her oven and it's not going to cook because you don't got the fucking ingredients. So I'll see you guys in my next video.